I'm telling you guys, Jordan Brand be reading my mind and stealing my ideas. And today we're going to be doing a review and a comparison on the Concord 11 Low Sketches. Let's get right into this. Okay, so we have the box right here. Pretty clean box actually. They didn't have this on the Concord Bread 11 Lows that just came out. All white with some gold accents. Very, very clean. Really, really clean box. I really wasn't expecting this. I was expecting more of that uh, GR box, like the normal Jordan 1 GR box, or like the uh, box of the Jordan 11 Concord Bread Lows. So this is a nice change. It looks really, really clean. All right, let's open the box up. The pictures and the videos really don't do this sneaker justice, guys. This is a true, looks, at least to me, uh, we'll get there during the comparison, but this looks like a true Concord purple to me. I know in the pictures, what really turned me off about this sneaker is that it looked too blue. It didn't look like a Concord purple, it looked like a blue. So this sneaker in hand actually looks a lot better than in the pictures and the video. So you guys really need to get the sneaker in hand to get an accurate impression of it. Oh my God, it's a good smell. But yeah guys, before this sticker even came out, when I first got my hands on the Concord 11 highs, the OGs, this was before I was even really that into sneakers and I didn't really know any of the significance of the Concord 11s. And I was like, hmm, why is the Concord 11s, why is this sneaker called the Concord 11s? What does Concord even mean? And I looked it up, the Concord is because of the Concord purple hits on the outsole of those 11s. And I was like, wow, why did they name it after such a small little color on the sneaker when the sneaker primarily is black and white. I thought it would be really cool if they changed the black pattern leather on the Concord 11 highs to a Concord purple color. And I thought of that sneaker before the sneaker came out. I'm telling you guys, Jordan Brand be reading my mind and stealing my ideas. But on a more serious note, yeah, this is a really clean sneaker, guys. Same thing on every Jordan 11 low, seems like. On the upper, it's a uh, tumbled leather. It's okay quality, not Super good quality, but it's standard uh, Jordan GR quality. I think the leather quality on the Jordan 11 bread lows were actually a little bit better than this, but it's whatever. I mean, it's a GR sneaker. Can't really expect that much. So the tongue looks pretty much the same as the Concord 11 high OGs. So the heel tab, instead of the 23 in white, like on the Concord 11s, they changed it to the 23 in the Concord purple, which is a really nice touch. Although I wish they made it stitched, but... It's a GR, you can't really ask that much. And also these rope laces, they look thinner than the regular OG highs. This is what you guys have been waiting for, the patent leather. So the Concord Purple, oh my God, looks so beautiful on this sneaker, guys. I'm telling you, this sneaker looks so beautiful. It looks so much better in hand than in the pictures. This Concord Purple looks so nice. And I don't know what it is about me and purple shoes, but I think purple shoes just look so dope. They just look so dope. Like, I just love the Jordan 1 Court Purple 2.0s that I got recently. Those look really dope. And I'm a Lakers fan, so purple shoes are a must-have. At least one purple shoe in the collection to go with my Lakers jersey. And then the midsole, just standard midsole. Nothing special here. Standard uh, Jordan 11 midsole. And then we go on to the outsole. And, and it's actually really interesting because they have the black hits on the outsole. And then the translucent, looks like the regular Concord 11 translucent outsole. And it's translucent so that you can see inside a Concord colored Jumpman. So that is a really nice touch. The checkered heel counter, it looks like the same heel counter from the Concord 11 bread lows. Yeah, it's pretty cool how they changed it up. Black hits on the bottom and then purple hits on the patent leather. So it's cool that they changed that up. So now let's go on to the comparison between these and the Concord 11 highs. So now we have the two sneakers side-by-side -side comparison. And again, guys, my Concord 11 High OG is super beat. Oh my God, guys. Like I've worn the crap out of these. So uh, maybe I should have doubled up on these, but 220 is pretty steep. Anyways, guys, here we can see the differences between the Concord 11 OG highs with the Concord 11 lows. So we can see that the clear difference is that other than the fact that this one is a low and this one is a high, the most noticeable difference obviously is that on the Concord 11 highs, we have black patterns 
patent leather. And on the Concord 11 Sketch Lowe's, we've got this Concord Purple patent leather. And it seems like they just switched it up. And it's interesting that Jordan Brand actually decided to do this. On the Concord 11 OG Highs, on the outsole, we have purple hits, but on the upper, we have the black patent leather. But on the Concord 11 Sketch Lowe's, they reversed that. So on the upper, we have the Concord purple on the patent leather, and on the bottom, we have the black hits. So that's a really interesting thing that uh, Jordan Brand decided to do. And another difference is the heel counter. So, so on the Concord 11 highs, it's an all black heel counter, and on the Concord 11 low sketches, it's a gray and black checkered heel counter. I know it's hard to compare because uh, this one is clearly used and this one is DS, but on the outsoles, the Jumpman through the translucent soles is white, and then on the Concord 11 low sketches, the Jumpman through the translucent soles is a Concord purple. The Concord 11 lows, of course, also also have the mini Jumpman on the back and standard on the Jordan 11 lows is the Jumpman in the insole compared to the OG highs which has the Nike Air in the insole. Really cool to see these sneakers side by side. Also on the tongue, the Jumpman Jordan red sideways on the tongue so it looks pretty much identical to the Concord 11 highs. The Concord 11 lows, it does look slightly more blue but that may be because of the wear on the sneaker. As for the actual Concord color of the patent leather, it's it's really difficult to compare because this is a used pair, but it does look pretty similar on that. I will say that on the Concord 11 lows, it does look slightly more blue than the actual Concords on the OG highs, but it really isn't much of a difference. I think the difference in color is much more prominent on the Jumpman Jordan logo than it is on the actual patent leather. I think it's a really cool sneaker. I won two raffles. I actually entered a crap ton of raffles. I mean, uh, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys real, real quick. I had this many tickets. I had like 20 tickets in total, and I only won two pairs from the shoe palaces. I decided to do the classic rock one, stock one. Originally, I was planning on reselling both the sneakers, but after getting them in hand and just seeing the Concord purple being less blue than I thought, really made the deal for me to keep one of the sneakers. So I just broke it out today at work, and it was actually surprisingly comfortable. I think it's actually more comfortable than the highs, to be honest. And yeah, it's just a really clean, really great summer sneaker for you guys. You know, the white and the purple, both really bright, both really summer vibes going on right here. So it's a great summer sneaker. I know in the summer it's like really hot, especially here in LA. You don't really feel like wearing highs. You want to you wanna wear your no-show socks, you want to cuff your jeans, and you want a low-top sneaker. And I think that's the way to go in summer, especially out here in LA, it gets so hot, oh my god. This is a great summer sneaker, especially if you still want to rock your Jordans, but it's too hot, then you can just pull out these lows, you know what I'm saying? I'm still pretty bummed that Jordan Brand didn't give me any credit for my idea. Maybe I should join the design team for Jordan Brand. As for sizing and fits, because this is a women's release, so that's a really important point to go there, guys. For any women's release, if you're a man and you want to purchase a women's sneaker, so for me, I'm an Eight and a half true size. So when I bought this sneaker, I went up one and a half size. That's a women's 10 for me. So I got this in a size 10 women's and it fit perfectly for me. I know when you first break into Jordan 11s, they do fit a little bit snug, but all you need to do is just break them in. And then, so I would suggest going up one and a half sizes. So you need to go up one and a half sizes if you're a man, if you plan on copying and rocking this sneaker. So let's talk a little bit about resale on this sneaker. Will these sneakers go up? Should you sell this sneaker or should you hold this sneaker? In my opinion, I think this is a good hold because that this is an 11. And y'all already know ones, fours, and 11s, these are good sneakers to hold. And this is just such a clean colorway, guys. This like reverse Concord colorway. I'm telling you guys, this is a good sneaker and a good colorway to hold. I mean, just look at the UNC low 11s and you can already see that those skyrocketed because that was also a clean colorway and that is also an 11. Not only that, but if you guys have one of the bigger sizes because this is a women's release, those bigger men's sizes, those are the ones that are going to shoot up the most, in my opinion, because this is a women's release and those are the sizes with the highest demand and the lowest supply. So I think that those are worth the hold. If you'll have some of those smaller women's sizes, you can hold them. Just don't expect them to go up as high as the bigger men's sizes. Like if you can sell them right now and get like 275, just do it. Just do it. If you have a big size, just do it. Then I think that that's a good price to sell at. But if you have one of those bigger men's sizes, those are definitely a good hold. But yeah guys, why don't you leave a comment down below. Let me know 
what do you guys think about the Jordan 11 low Concord sketches? Are you planning on copying or is this an easy pass for guys? Let me know, let me know. But yeah guys, that's pretty much gonna make it to the end of the video. If you like it, don't forget to smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so that you don't miss a single video. And follow me on the gram at 97kicksofficial for sneak peeks like this or that. And it's been your boy 97kicks, and we out.